Hard to find a community in Utah that isn't extremely proud of its history. Most of those stories, though, are written on paper where they're remembered but rarely read. Soon the story of how one community became more than just a small town will be seen and heard. And we have a sneak peek. Who will go? We need good teams and wagons. We need you. The school needs you. Just the months after using everything they had to build a school in 1897, the people of Cedar City were told by the state they had to build it again in a different place. They were mandated to have a new building in an eight-month period, and they had to start building it in the wintertime. Screenwriter and director John Smith knows the story well. He's been at Southern Utah University for almost 30 years. It just uh, shows an incredible story of commitment and determination. Smith jumped at the chance to recreate the school's history in movie form. I'll go up the mountain. I just need a few days to get a team and supplies. In order to rebuild the school, they had to go into the mountains to get more wood. And in the middle of the winter, they were met with a massive snowstorm. Something not easy to recreate in southern Utah, especially this winter. No, they got to come this way, John. But Smith had the help of snowmaking machines at Bryan Head Ski Resort. They turned them on us, and we had the storm of the century. Actor Jason Wade led the charge through the snow. A former SUU student himself, he says it wasn't hard to get into character. Negative 40. 10 feet of snow, these men were going to die. And we're covered, we're wet, we're tired, we're miserable. There's no acting involved. We're, we're, we're cold, we're chilled to the bone. But it was so hard for me not to smile because I'm getting this great view into history. For Wade, the story of Neil Bladen and his horse Old Sorrel pushing through shoulder high snow to bring the wood down the mountain is a story of determination that reminds him of his days at SUU. I try to walk away from, from acting and from filmmaking, and I had professors that wouldn't allow that. And they kept me right on course, and, and here I am being a part of this history. Wade hopes this film will help keep the history alive for years to come. They're already very much connected. The history has been alive and well, but I think now you're going to bring in a younger generation. Once completed, the film will be shown to incoming students after it premieres at either graduation or at homecoming this fall. And I'll tell you what, that campus is spectacular down yeah, there. Beautiful.